Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. Sorry if I sound weird, I have a cough drop in my mouth because I'm sick. As always, not really. I mean, it's getting there, but not really. Anyways, so last time we stopped, I was flirting with everyone. I got Sarah and that beautiful woman to join the in to join the Inquisition. And yeah, I think we're gonna do another um, quest right now. Something. Yeah. It's good you've returned. We heard of your encounter. You heard? My agents in a city sent word ahead, of course. It's a shame the Templars have abandoned their senses as well as the capital. Going was worth the risk. At least we made contact. The Chantry is dealt with. Hmm. We had to do something, and now we have an opportunity. Yes. Well. And we have the opening we need to approach the Templars and the Mages. Do we? Lord Seeker Lucius is not the man I remember. True. He has taken the orders somewhere. But to do what? My reports have been very odd. We must look into it. I'm certain not everyone in the order will support the Lord Seeker. Or the Herald could simply go to meet the mages in Redcliffe instead. You think the Mage Rebellion is more united? It could be ten times worse. You must choose soon. We should meet the mages. We should find the Templars. I think we're going to decide we should meet the mages. Yeah, I think they want me to decide with the mages. I could at least find out what the Mages want. No doubt what they've always wanted. Mm. Support Sandra for their approves. cause. We shouldn't discount Redcliffe. The Mages may be worth the risk. They are powerful, Ambassador, but more desperate than you realize. You think of the trap, there's always danger, they could be useful. Um... You think it's a trap? You think the invitation could be some kind of trap? If some among the rebel mages were responsible for what happened at the Conclave, the same could be said about the Templars. True enough. Right now, I'm not certain we have enough influence to approach the Order safely. Then the Inquisition needs agents in more places. That's something you can help with. In the meantime, we should consider other options. Oof. Yeah, this is nerve-wracking. There is one other matter. Several months ago, the Grey Wardens of Ferelden vanished. I sent word to those in Orlais, but they have also disappeared. Ordinarily, I wouldn't even consider the idea they're involved in all this, but the timing is curious. Who are the Grey Wardens? It sounds suspicious. Why tell me? Uh, who are the Grey Wardens? Grey Wardens? I'm not familiar with them. They're an ancient order that has existed to fight Darkspawn invasions since the First Blight thousands of years ago. They have faded since those glory days, but haven't disappeared entirely. Ordinarily, their order is neutral in political affairs, but they appear in strange places. Um, it sounds suspicious, why tell me? It does sound suspicious. That does sound odd, I agree. The others have disregarded my suspicion, but I cannot ignore it. Two days ago, my agents in the Hinterlands heard news of a Grey Warden by the name of Blackwall. If you have the opportunity, please seek him out. Perhaps he can put my mind at ease. And if he can't, then there may be more going on than we thought. Wait, I didn't listen. What did she want me to do? <laughs> I'm gonna flirt. I met an elven mage earlier. Solus, I believe he was called. I admit I was surprised. I didn't expect to find mages among the Inquisition. Tell me, why were you at the Divine Conclave? This is, uh, this chaos harms everyone. The rebels are apostates. Justice is all that matters. Mages should be free. The Templars uh, made their beds. We need the circle restored. This chaos harms everyone. The war benefits no one. It must end. An order must be restored. If only the rebels saw things so clearly. 
Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Thedas. If it is not restored quickly, countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. Um, Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. I'll do all I can and you'll help decide. Mm. <laughs> I want to say, and you'll help decide. That's why you wanted to be here, to have a hand in deciding that fate. Wouldn't you? For almost a thousand years, the world believed it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. I'll see it to change things. No one should have that power. Andraste chose me, the Chantry will be destroyed. I'll use it to change things. If that's true, then I'll put it to good use. I suppose oh, no. we'll see. I've stolen enough. She disapproves. Time, my dear. Don't let me keep you. That's bad. Oops. Yes. Investigate. Oh God! Tell me about the circle. I wanted to ask you about the circle of Magi. Of course. What do you wish to know? Uh, wasn't the circle just banned? What was the circle life like? How did the rebellion start? What is circle life like? What was it like to live in a circle? My dear, your question is the root of all problems with mages. I cannot tell you. Every circle was different. Their Templars were different, their politics unique. And every person within each tower had an experience of circle life unique to themselves. Some people suffered and some were content. Some were cruel, some compassionate, and some indifferent. The same is true of people everywhere, in all circumstances, whether they are mages or not. What about your experience? So tell me about your personal experience with the Circle. I enjoyed life in the Montsimard Circle, my dear. It was an edifice devoted to knowledge and refinement. And mages need the company of other mages. No one else can truly understand the challenges we face, nor see the world as we do. You must have been under constant supervision, being forced by Templars to live in the tower. Was that hard to endure? My dear, I have a suite in the palace and a wing at my dear Duke Bastien's estate. I've never been forced to live anywhere. Most circles allowed mages to live away from the tower, either on their own or in service to the nobility. All that was required was permission from the first enchanter. Some circles were harsher in their restrictions. Kirkwall was the worst. But it was the exception. Most were quite permissive. Perhaps too permissive, in retrospect. If the circle disbanded, how can you still belong to it? The circle is an idea, my dear. And an idea cannot be dissolved. Many of the first enchanters voted for rebellion, caring little that anything short of a unanimous decision would pit mage against mage. Rather than dissolving it, Grand Enchanter Fiona's vote split the circle in two. The rebels follow her, the loyalists follow me. If you led all the loyalists, why are you only First Enchanter and not Grand Enchanter? Grand Enchanters are elected, and since there are no First Enchanters besides myself, no vote can be held. I could name myself Grand Enchanter, but the title holds no meaning now. When the circles are restored, that will change. How did we come to this state with the circles in revolt? A failure of perspective that infected circle leadership. Mages lived solely in a world of Templars and mages. They could not even imagine what was beyond the tower walls. Kirkwall gave the world a reason to remember its fear of magic. A mage killed hundreds with a snap of their fingers. Across Thedas, a new tangible fear of magic grew. Commoners and nobles alike called out to the Chantry for protection. But the malcontents in the towers thought nothing of this. They cared only for themselves and for their anger at the new Templar restrictions. 
When a mage attempted to assassinate Divine Justinia, again, the mages protested the investigation. The leadership chose to vote on independence based on the intolerable conditions imposed by the Templars, sparing no thought to the fact that magic was more feared in the aftermath of these attacks than it had been since Tevinter's day. So long as they had their freedom, they could care little for riots, angry mobs, or about pitting mages against each other. I thought the fighting was only between mages and Templars. Why are mages fighting mages? The vote for independence was carried by only a small margin, but Fiona chose to let the motion stand. Those who opposed a rash declaration of war against the entire free world had little choice. By breaking from the Chantry when they did, the rebels declared themselves in support of mass murder. Anyone who did not wish to support terrorism and the slaughter of innocents was forced to take arms against the rebels. Are you familiar with Grand Enchanter Fiona? We've met. Before her horrendously ill-timed and selfish vote for independence, I thought her adequate at her job. In her dotage, she could not handle looking after the well-being of so many people. We would have done better to replace her years ago to let her spend time gardening. Did they have cause to rebel? in the aftermath of their terrorist attacks? Was that really the most opportune time to break away? By all means protest abuses by the Templars. Just don't do it in a way that says mages support wholesale murder. By voting when they did, my colleagues all but declared war upon the ordinary people of Thedas. A war in which we are outnumbered a hundred to one. Who is this? Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. Uh, excuse me, I've got a message for the Inquisition. Give me the message. What's the message? We've got word of some Divinta mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of <gasps> charge. If you'd like to see what the Bull's charges can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. Investigate. Uh, tell me about your company. Tell me about your leader. What can your bull's charges offer the Inquisition? We're loyal, we're tough, and we don't break contracts. Ask around Val Royale. We've got references. What should I know about your commander? Iron Bull. He's one of those Canari, the big guys with the horns. He leads from the front. He pays well, and he's a lot smarter than the last bastard I worked for. Best of all, he's professional. We accept contracts with whoever makes the first real offer. You're the first time he's gone out of his way to pick a side. Why did your commander send us this information? Iron Bull wants to work for the Inquisition. He thinks you're doing good work. We're gonna welcome the help. We welcome the help. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. Oh, let's claim it. Yeah. yeah. Congrats. They will make this a fight, not us. Right there and there. No gaps. Looks like we found him. Black wall. Keep focused. They'll know what it means. Remember how to carry your shields. You're not hiding, you're holding. Otherwise, it's useless. Blackwall? Warden Blackwall? You're mm. not. How do you know my name? Who said. <laughs> ah! <gasps> That's it. Help or get out. We're dealing with these idiots first. No. Oh, Scripps, here they come.
Okay. Oh, my TV just turned off. I was like, why did the screen just go Sorry, black? Bastards. Good work, conscripts. Even if this shouldn't have happened, they could have... Well, thieves are made, not born. Take back what they stole. Go back to your families. You saved yourselves. Oh god, that thing in the back I didn't touch. <laughs> You're no farmer. Why do you know my name? Who are you? Greetings are in order. That depends on who you ask. I know your name because I'm an agent of the Inquisition. I'm investigating whether the disappearance of Wardens has anything to do with the murder of the Divine. Maker's balls. The Wardens and the Divine. That can't... No, you're asking so you don't really know. First off, I didn't know they disappeared. But we do that, right? No more blight, job done. Wardens are the first thing forgotten. But one thing I'll tell you, no warden killed the Divine. Our purpose isn't political. I wasn't accusing wardens yet. Is it killing bandits then? Um... I wasn't accusing wardens. I'm not here to accuse. Not yet. I just need information. I've only found you. Where are the rest? I haven't seen any wardens for months. I travel alone, recruiting. Not much interest because the Archdemon is a decade dead, and no need to conscript because there's no blight coming. Treaties give wardens the right to take what we need, who we need. These idiots forced this fight, so I conscripted their victims. They had to do what I said, so I told them to stand. Next time, they won't need me. Grey Wardens can inspire. Make you better than you think you are. Oh my gosh, no! Oh my gosh, no! It was fun in games when I was flirting with the girls, but now it's like, I can't go flirting with everyone. The treaties sound powerful. Where might Wardens go? Why have it... Where? Do you have any idea where the other Wardens could have gone? Maybe they returned to our stronghold at Weishaupt? That's in Neanderthals, a long way north. I don't really know. Can't imagine why they'd all disappear at once, let alone where they disappear to. I wasn't aware Grey Wardens could take whatever they want. It's complicated. If there's a blight, everyone has to help the effort to fight it. The treaties are ancient. Outside of blights, it's as binding as a clever tongue can make it. Why haven't you gone missing like the rest of them? Well, maybe I was going to. Or maybe there's a new directive that a runner got lost or something. Is he my like in the earlier Dragon Ages? Because that's what I feel like. Plan to stay that way for months. Years. I don't want to flirt with him, but I feel like that's the only way for him to come with us. Because I say you're giving me nothing that's kind of off. But uh, inspiring, but fruitless. I guess I'll say this because I don't want to flirt. It's been a pleasure, Warden Blackwall. But this didn't help at all. And that's it. No, I think I was supposed to flirt. Inquisition. Agent, did you say? Hold a moment. The Divine is dead and the sky is torn. Events like these, thinking we're absent is almost as bad as thinking we're involved. If you're trying to put things right, maybe you need a Warden. Maybe you need me. How can you alone help? We'll leave... Uh... Let's ask, how can you alone help? Because, let's ask him. The Inquisition needs all the support it can get. But what can one Grey Warden do? Save the fucking world if pressed. <laughs> Look, 
Maybe fighting demons from the sky isn't something I'm practiced at. But show me someone who is. And like I said, there are treaties. Maybe this isn't a blight, but it's bloody well a disaster. Some will honor them. Being a warden means something to a lot of people. Yes. Warden Blackwall, the Inquisition accepts your offer. Good to hear. We both need to know what's going on. And perhaps I've been keeping to myself for too long. This warden walks with the Inquisition. Yay! Why aren't I wearing any armor? Charred paper, letter found on the body of a bandit who stole from refugees in the hinterland. The ink is smudged and only a few sentences can be made out. You can die pretending you'll earn back your soldier's honor or you can do something with the skills that son of a bitch taught you. Spend some time with my boys. No one will know who you are in Faraladin. And it's not so bad. A little bit of smuggling, a little bit of extortion. You'll get used to it. It seems Blackwall knows nothing about the disappearance of the Grey Wardens. It's a disappointment. I am, however, glad that he is with us. Even if he was not what I expected. He seems to be a good man, and his experience will be an asset to the Inquisition. <sighs> As for the other Wardens, I suppose we will have to keep looking. Why do you want me to seek out the rebel mages? Why do you care? I've known mages. Some of them were better people than me. And yet I'm free and they're not. It's not right. I'll leave you to your work. Mistress Lavelle, do you have a moment? Oh. Yeah, sure. Did you need something, Ambassador? Yes. Well, not precisely, but... I should like to know if anyone here has treated you unkindly yet. For being an elf. Why? Is something happening? Not at the moment. I only wanted to make sure. If we're to convince the world that Andrastis Herald is an elf, the Inquisition must give you its utmost support. Stories of wild Dalish elves have grown even more outrageous as people learn of you. The stories are dangerous, the stories are nonsense. Give me an example. How have the rumors gotten worse? I would prefer not to repeat them. Give me something. Stealing children, selling peasants to slavers, burning down villages, using infants for blood magic. Those are the stories about your fellow Dalish. I won't repeat what they've said about you. Um... Nonsense. Why not claim the Dalish can steal your breath or turn into dragons while they're at it? Now that I've said that out loud, someone probably has. Very likely. I will see what the Inquisition can do to contain the slander. It may help if I know more about how you and your clan live. Poor Leo always wanted more. It's happiest through hard work. That's not for outsiders. Um... Let's say poorly, I always wanted more. We were at the mercy of everything. Foul weather, disease, village mobs. I always wanted more from life. You found it. In a spectacular fashion, I might add. Still, you must miss your clan. Very much so, I don't think about it. It's time I having my own name, I keep it to myself. I'm also knowing what <laughs> bucket you want to flirt with Josephine? No, I don't. I do. I don't. I do. I don't. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Nah, I won't. All my friends are there. Before I came to the Conclave, the clan was my whole world. I'd like to see them after everything is done. I hope you get the chance. Whether you're with them or not, being the clan of the Herald of Andraste. We'll mark them in history. Um, about times Elver noticed. 
I worry about that, they would be jealous. I'm not the first famous elf. Ooh, let's let's pull up the There have been other elves close to Andraste. Shartan led an army of them in her name. This is true. I'd forgotten. Ah, the Chantry is not fond of Shartan. Perhaps we should draw parallels. Hints that Andraste's favor has returned to an elf in our time of need. Thank you, Herald. There are some letters I should write. You're the Herald. Or, well, the one they're calling the Herald, anyway. I hope the Inquisition can restore order soon. I never really wanted to leave the Circle. My name is Maneve. I research demons and other creatures. Seeker, Pentagast, and I use what I find to help the soldiers fight them. I found something for you. So you're a mage? You said you were a mage? No, just an apprentice. I was never very good at magic. I've got just enough talent to be a danger to other people. But when the mages rebelled, people like me had nowhere to go. The Templars would have killed us. Luckily, Seeker Pentagast took me in. Along with the Tranquil, I was protected. You didn't join the rebels? I'm surprised that even an apprentice mage wouldn't join the rebellion. I don't like using magic to fight. I'm not good at it either. I like studying. I like performing rituals that helped us unlock the secrets of the veil. I liked having the Templars around to keep us safe. A pity you aren't Dalish. What does that picture mean? Um. He might have done well among the Dalish. Our mages are encouraged to study safely. Fenner will take the Dalish. Don't let my lack of Valestine fool you, Lethley. I was a proud member of my clan until my magic manifested. You know what happens when they have too many mages. They gave me a pack and sent me into the woods to find my own life. I was seven years old. That's awful. I'm so sorry. I stumbled into a village, starving and cold, a few weeks later. I started using magic to scare predators away. The villagers saw me make fire in my fist. They were terrified and wanted to kill me. Templars saved me from them. They gave me food and clothes and took me to the circle. I've seen what life is like without the Templars, and I want no part of it. I just want to study. Uh... You said that you were keeping some of the Tranquil safe? Yes. The mages took some of them when my circle rebelled. The rest were forgotten. Most circle mages look down on the Tranquil, or try to pretend they don't exist. They don't have any emotions. They can barely take care of themselves, can't defend themselves at all. It's a shame. I like them better than most people. I'm glad they have someone who cares about them. They deserve better. They're polite, they're rational, and they'll never get angry at you. When they study, they have a focus no normal person could ever match. But the Templars, even some of the mages, mistreated them just because they could. The Tranquil never fought back. If not for that, I... I don't know. Doesn't really matter now. You said Cassandra has you researching creatures. Yes. If you find anything interesting in your travels, I'd appreciate you bringing it to me. I may be able to find some weakness our soldiers can exploit when fighting various creatures. But at the least, some materials are useful for making potions or gear for the Inquisition. Why did you decide to research dangerous creatures? I like the outdoors. The idea of the outdoors, anyway. When some monster is coming at you, glowing eyes and burning claws, it's terrifying. But once you know how it works, you can deal with it. It's just another part of the world. So much of this world is only frightening because we don't understand it. I found something the demons left behind. Can you use it? Yes, that's very helpful. Just leave it there and the Tranquil and I will examine it. Nice. We will study that. You're welcome. So, oh man, so we have that one, quest one of two. So I'm not sure 
Because I know this will move the story forward. But I think I want be quiet. I <laughs> I think I don't I don't have time. I mean I mean there's a lot of time left, like on my timer that I have. But personally, me as a person, I don't have time. So in the next part, we're gonna do Lost Souls. These two things. Wait, I think I did this in my last gameplay and it was very hard. So maybe we should hold up on these quests. No, yeah. I'm just gonna continue with the story because I don't think we're strong enough to get. Because I tried doing the Lost Souls one. I remember, <gasps> but like, it was so bad because I sucked. So I'm just gonna, um, we're just gonna move on with the story in the next part. And so you say. hopefully we can meet the Iron Bull. <laughs> I, if you guys were wondering why I like gasped when I heard about the Iron Bull, it's because I watched the Iron Bull romance on YouTube and I thought it was amazing and I loved it. So yeah, I'm so excited and I can't wait to meet him. I mean, I can't romance him because I'm not a male, but it's just, it's fantastic and I think it's great. So uh, yeah. That's it for this part. Thank you guys for watching, and I will hopefully, hopefully, hopefully see you in the next part. Bye!